Hello, ladies. So, I'm try to get my phone set up right here. So, I wanted to hop on here so that I could give you guys more of a rundown for what's been going on so far with IVF cycle number two. I know I left you guys off with, I believe, um, I had done my third consult, I believe it was, with NRE. And we also had one with a fourth RE already scheduled some weeks out. So I'm going to tell you guys about how that went. It went well overall. I just uh, went over things with the doc. She shared her thoughts for um, things that she liked to change about our upcoming cycle if we chose to go with them. Uh, one thing she mentioned in particular was that she would like for me to do loop up. Can't talk. <laughs> Lupron instead of doing the birth control like I did before because she felt like the birth control probably suppressed me too much so uh, so that's one of the changes um, other than that you know business as usual nothing really uh, fancy um, she wanted me to meet with their um, meet with or really um, have either like a phone consult or something with uh, the like the financial I forgot what they call them, financial coordinator, something like that. And also like one of like the IVF nurses. Um, so you communicate with most of the people through that clinic, kind of like through a, a patient portal type of system, which seems like it works pretty well. Um, um, and overall, you know, once, excuse me, once we um, did that consult, you know, we were comfortable with, we're probably, we're going to end up doing our second IVF cycle with this fourth clinic instead of that third one. And this fourth clinic is, I want to say like roughly 75 to 80 miles away from where we live. Not a horrible drive considering, I know you, some of you girls drive super, super far, you know, well over an hour and a half, two hours sometimes to um, get to your clinics and I know that's especially a lot, especially doing an IVF cycle when it comes to monitoring and such. If you don't have um, like those satellite offices that are you know pretty close to you, or you can do just the monitoring uh, monitoring appointments, and then just do your retrieval at the actual RE office that you're um, doing the cycle with. Um, but yeah, so um, not too horrible of a drive away. Um, they're actually with the same health system that took care of me. Um, well, it's actually a part of the health system already that actually I work for, and it's the health, same health system that took care of me when I had my cervical ectopic pregnancy, um, in the beginning of, uh, 2015. Um, so yeah, so the appointment went well. We decided to go with them. Um, doc said she just wanted to get a vitamin D3, a vitamin D level on me as well as a, a baseline day three FSH. She said that wouldn't hurt. So the nurse sent me like the paperwork through um, email so I could go to a local um, lab here so I wouldn't have to drive all the way there to get that blood work done. So it's that cycle day three for actually this month, which is February because today is the first, that will be somewhere between, somewhere, you know, next week, mid to late next week for me. I'm anticipating my period to start somewhere between Sunday and Tuesday. So come on, Aunt Flo. Let's get the show on the road. We can get that done. So I'll get those bloods done. Um, she wanted my vitamin D level checked because she oftentimes finds that most women are deficient in that. And then that has some effect on egg quality, she believes. So we're going to do that. And then if it's low, I'll go ahead and start taking supplements which I won't be shocked if I am because I am a nocturnal person, y'all. I work at night and, you know, when I do get out during the day sometimes to do errands and such, but I'm not out in the sun a whole, whole lot. Um, so, yeah. So, other than that, she wanted to do that. I spoke with the actual IVF nurse. She said that from the time that I was actually anticipating my period for this month, to um, do my new SIS because my old one was outdated. And um, so I'm gonna do a new SIS, which is the saline ultrasound mid cycle. And the first available appointment they had in that time frame would have been um, Valentine's Day. Isn't that awful romantic? And so we'll do that on Valentine's Day as well as my husband's gonna do another semen analysis that day, make sure everything looks okay on that end. 
um, even though we still know he has you know some slight issues but they're you know dramatically improved from where they were before he started taking supplements and what was the other thing so yeah she wanted those two levels checked and then the nurse talked about me scheduling that so I scheduled that appointment and then from there the nurse pretty much just said that they will confirm my ovulation through blood work on cycle day 21 and then we'll get started on Lupron um, which so I don't forget to mention someone so graciously thank you so much I believe her name is Jane does IVF that's her Instagram name she so graciously gave me um, a leftover vial of Lupron that she had um, from one of her cycles so thank you so much girl um, and I was able to offload some medicines that I had that um, took quite a few girls that I wasn't going to be able to use anyway um, so that's good I have I actually have to ship something out here in, in the next couple of days um, from somebody that I got in touch with like yesterday or maybe the day before but I just got in touch with another girl who would who could use that medicine um, so I know that's going to be a huge help to her and let's see, um, so I told you about that. So yeah, they'll confirm my blood, my, will confirm ovulation through blood work. Um, and the nurse actually sent me the paperwork to have that done here at a local lab with LabCorp and that helps a lot. So I won't have to worry about driving all the way up there just to get that blood work done for just the beginning of the cycle. Um, then I'll be able to get the. Uh, results from it within just a few days because I signed up with the LabCorp's little some kind of little like portal patient portal type website that they have where you can access the results on there and it'll email you actually every time a new blood result becomes available um, so yeah I'll be able to look at that and I'll just start the Lupron after they confirm that ovulation and I'll be looking at a March retrieval um, so that's good um, I'm just waiting for their like financial counselor coordinator type person to get back to me um, just to make sure that she got whatever information she needed from our insurance um, I know that was like maybe Friday when I last spoke to her and she said oh well I'll get back to you it'll probably be Monday but of course today's Wednesday I haven't heard back from her but I'm fine with that because I'm pretty familiar with um, the policy and all that stuff that we had signed up for during the open enrollment process and let's see so yeah I hadn't heard from her then I also made sure I made sure to mention to the doctor about how I had issues with anesthesia pretty much saying that I was too fat for my first IVF cycle and they wanted me to lose weight so I made sure to um tell her that I wanted to you know them to be able to you know have a little assessment of me or whatever just to make sure that there was no hiccups or they wouldn't say that I'm too fat too <laughs> so um so I went up I had to actually go there to the clinic for that um and everything was fine like they they didn't have any issues with my BMI or you know my health history was fine which is really nothing there but they were fine with all that so no problems there so yay and I mean that's pretty much the majority of it um I think as more things unfold I know I kind of like spit stuff out a little bit quicker sometimes on Instagram um so sometimes I have um much more like current to date stuff actually posted there if you don't already follow me on there and other than that I, I mean I hope you guys are everybody's doing well whether you're pregnant or you know in your two week wait hang in there you know I'm really pulling for you and you know hope that that BFP is right around the corner for you also I'm hoping the same for myself so you guys just keep me in your thoughts and I will keep you guys up to date as best as I can um, as things just kind of you know roll along and happen so look forward to that and I will see you ladies later